The CDC no longer recommends test-based strategy and update of return to work criteria for staff, and CMS is deeply concerned that COVID-19 cases in nursing homes have escalated nationally. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The CDC is no longer recommending a test-based strategy for healthcare personnel who had COVID-19 and are trying to return to work. The change was a part of an update last week to its return to work criteria for healthcare professionals with the disease. The CDC said it is no longer recommending the strategy because in a majority of cases, quote, it results in excluding from work healthcare professionals who continue to shed detectable COVID-19 but are no longer infectious. The CDC is still recommending a symptom-based strategy for returning staff. The criteria includes having to wait at least 10 days since symptoms first appeared. At least 24 hours have passed since their last fever without the use of medications and symptoms have improved. The agency noted that a test-based strategy for determining when staff can return to the job could be considered in some instances if the symptom-based strategy was used as well. Quote, a test-based strategy could also be considered for some healthcare professionals in consultation with local infectious disease experts if concerns exist for the professionals being infectious for more than 20 days, the agency wrote. Top officials with CMS are uneasy following a recent uptick in coronavirus cases at nursing homes over the last few weeks. Nursing homes were reporting 11,000 new cases per week when they first started submitting data through the CDC's National Healthcare Safety Network in late April, which was a peak at the time. New weekly cases reached a low of about 6,300 by the end of June, but as of the end of July, nursing homes have reported about 12,000 new cases per week. CMS Administrator Seema Verma added that the rise is tied to increased general community spread in many areas of the country. The agency is eyeing facilities with just a few cases because of the disease's ability to rapidly expand and cause an even bigger crisis, she noted. Quote, even if you have one or two cases, I cannot emphasize enough that the situation can turn into very, very quickly, she said. In a matter of hours, you can go from having two or three cases to having half your nursing home impacted, which is what we have seen in some areas. Those nursing homes that don't have any cases, I would not be complacent in that. Verma also explained that the Federal Emergency Management Agency is also on high alert regarding the tracking and shipping of supplies for providers. The agency is also working closely with manufacturers and lab companies to ensure point-of-care tests and results for nursing homes are being prioritized. Verma noted that the recent rise in cases is not just a testing issue or a supply issue, but a need to emphasize infection control. Quote, our deep concern is that even in nursing homes that are doing testing on a regular basis, that we're still seeing significant spread, she said. Verma explained that federal strike teams and quality improvement organizations, QIOs, are seeing significant deficiencies in infection control practices. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.